Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm Andalusia in Spain. Here it is turning beautifully green. We are happy. This is only one month since we have received rain and at some spots the grass is already 15 to 20 centimeters tall. It will be nice to get some more, but it will come. In the meantime, I take advantage of the humid soil. Here I have the Pinus halepensis, Pino carrasco, or the Aleppo pine. I planted quite a few of them, a Mediterranean pine. Here amongst the sorghum, the Sudan grass and the cactus, I have another pine, Pinus pinia, Pino pinonero, or the umbrella pine. Come on, make your umbrella here. This Spanish Portuguese cork oak. On this farm we call it the dead dog tree because it has no bark. Come here, Max. This is Max, Spanish water dog. Quite an oxymoron, a delightfully intelligent, stupid dog. And uh, why Spanish water dog? Where's the water? We have also planted quite a few Asufaifo, Chinese date, Jujuba, Jujubo, Jijolo, Gijolero, Sisyphus, call it what you like. Beautiful fruit. We had one fruit so far on this farm. The newest edition planted today, Lyceum barbarum, goji berry, wolf berry, or red medler also coming from China. I hope it does well in this environment because they say they are very hardened plants. This is a time for all the mushrooms on our farm. This weekend we're going to do a course to identify some of them. Amazing. Today I've also planted this Vachelia Karu. It is not a mimosa, although it has the same yellow flower. It is the old Acacia family, but uh, the Australian Acacias are still called Acacia, and the Southern African Acacias are called Vachelia, Sweet Thorn or Sudurin, Gum Arab Tree, also called, from Southern Africa. Lots of thorns. This is the Hackberry, Almeth, um, Mediterranean uh, plant. It is also called the Celtis Australis. I planted about a hundred of them a year ago. This is where it is standing now. Great, go for it. This is the Aviano, the nut, also from the Mediterranean area. It's quite a big tree, some green 
here planted next to a tree that died but uh, I learned in Antarctica a person is not dead when they are cold they're only dead when they are warmed up and they are not responding then they are dead so I will wait for some of these trees until springtime and see if they warm up or if they are really dead. Another amazing Mediterranean tree, the carob, Serotonia siliqua, two years old, um, male and female trees, only the female will produce the cobs, but uh, they say we can graft the female onto the male root system. Let's see, we'll have to wait another eight years. Another Mediterranean tree, Pistachio cerebintus cornicabra or the turpentine tree. Looking forward to what it gives us. This is the Mediterranean plant tree, mastic tree, Pistacia lentiscus. I actually like it. I planted quite a few and uh, I hope it does well. Here is next to the creek. Then I planted about 30 of these cypress trees, Mediterranean tree, Cypress, Cypressus, Semper Virenos. I hope it's evergreen here with us. The cypress. This is another mastic tree that I have planted, but I started a practice quite some time ago. When I pruned this in uh, spring, I just stick whatever I have pruned into the earth, and here it's growing. Great, I like it. We've done it many places now. So let's see. This is an elm, Mediterranean tree, called Olmo here, Ulmus canescens, the grey leaved elm, planted two years ago. Beautiful. mushrooms and this is the tree that I really look forward to it is called Myrtus communus uh, Arayan Myrt Okay, beautiful day, warm, 25 degrees Celsius, many clouds, will be a beautiful sunset, no rain, till next time, goodbye.